Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. I got a fantastic one for you. It's one that, let me scoot this here a little closer. I feel like I'm way, way out of, out of frame there for a moment. Um, today's movie is a fantastic one. It's from 1987. Um, it stars uh, Terry Potter, Pete O'Hearn, Craig Smith, Mike Minet, and uh, Peter Jackson playing two, not one, but two different roles, both in evil and a good role and it's also guess what directed by him as well and if you haven't noticed from what you've read about the film whatever it is that i have posted on it or just by the by the uh, the name below it is none other than bad taste <sighs> unfortunately i don't have that cool holographic cover where it switches between the two fingers and the middle finger um I missed out on that one. Maybe someday I'll I'll pick up a copy. Uh, I, as far as I know, I'm not sure what it really is going for at this point. Um, I hope that I think that this is going to get a Blu-ray sometime next year. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I think I saw something where maybe Criterion, which if they did it, I would totally upgrade it. Um, whoever does it, I will upgrade it because this is a fantastic film. Um, this is one of those that I watch quite often. I watch it probably two or three times a year. It makes me feel good. It puts a smile on my face. Um, anytime I'm down, I throw it in. That's so. That's why I watched it the other day. I was feeling a little down, and this is this is my my go-to. Now, what is it about? Um, it's about these these alien creatures that have taken over this small, small seaside town called Kaihoro, which is a fishing port. And these, I forget what, what they're accurate or what you, it's like attack intergalactic defense system, which stands for AIDS, which is weird in the AIDS squad or um, defense squad. That's what it was intergalactic defense squad. So it's, it's, it's an acronym is AIDS, which cracks me up. Um, they are sent to go to Kaihoro, and there is four of them in total. Um, five of them, no, four, sorry, four, counting Derek, because Derek's don't run. I love that. That is probably one of the greatest lines in this entire film. I'm a Derek. And Derek's don't run. <laughs> uh, if you've seen it, you know that line. It is just it's just magic. Which you know, Peter Jackson is a great great at uh, writing comedic stuff in his films. Um, just look at this. Look at Meet the Feebles, Dead Alive, The Frighteners. Uh, there, you know that he's got some humor to his stuff. He also does some extremely dark stuff with like heavenly creatures. Um, uh, uh, Lovely Bones was very dark. And then, of course, we all know him for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Hobbit trilogy, uh, the King Kong film, the newer King Kong film. Um, the guy has a very extensive, uh, very, very um, uh, um, illustrious career. You know, the guy is very good at what he does. He's no, no slouch. Um, uh, his weight has been like mine. It fluctuates. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, yes, it's it's what us people do, I guess, that eat too much. Um, which I'm wearing, speaking of eating too much, I'm wearing my Punisher shirt today. I've had this since I, I was, I got this when I was really hefty. And now it fits rather nice. I kind of like it. Um, back to the uh, uh, assassin the assassin, the assassin intergalactic defense squad. Back to these bo the boys. And as a matter of fact, when they call them up, they have a, a, a the direct line. It just says the boys, and, and it's pushed by a guy that has he has no hand. He just has an index finger, and you know, and he has a, at one point he ties a little. It looks like a joint. I'm not gonna lie. That's held on with a band aid, and he's smoking on it. It kind of looked like a J. Uh, it might not have been. If not, if it was, more power to him. Uh, it might have just been a, a roll your own ciggy, which I used to do that. That stuff is harsh for your lungs, man. It's also cheap, though. <laughs> um, uh, I don't suggest it. I do not suggest it. Um, 
So the AIDS squad gets sent to Kaihoro and they're searching around. Derek is up up doing his thing up on a mount or the mountain top part. Um, the other guy I can't remember is I can't remember their names right now, which I should totally remember them because I've seen this a million times. Um, they're searching around in the town. Uh, the two two guys, the two uh, cool the cooler ones. Um, they're uh, out do they're out in the their car driving around checking things out. They blo they're blocking off the roads. They're all, while in constant con um, uh, uh, audio contact with with uh, the other two guys, and so they get attacked. The the other two in the town they get attacked. Uh, we have a great scene where where all of the the baddies are running with sledgehammers, uh, and they're handing them out to each other, and then like the very last one or the last of the big hammers is ginormous. And then there comes the last of the last guy. There's no hammers left, but he reaches down and he finds a little rock hammer. And so he, that's his little hammer. It's pure gold. Um, it's a corny little joke, but it works very well. Um, <clears throat> you also get a nice little little uh, uh, gunfight or gunfire from uh, from Derek up above. He's shooting uh, the uh, baddies. Um, as a matter of fact, he at one, up there has a. Uh, a uh, encounter with with Peter Jackson, the evil Peter Jackson up there, which he has a he has a, a beard rocking, and he's tied up by his ankle, dangling off the edge of this mountainside. So they have him trapped, and so he comes up and, and Derek, who's played by Peter Jackson. So you got the, him playing dual roles against each other. Which Derek has no facial hair; he's baby faced and all. Um, kind of looks a little funny. Um, he has a he has a spitting problem at, at a couple of points. You see drool just rolling down his lips. It's just freaking disgusting. Um, you get and he's shooting up these people. He or first he stabs this thing in uh, uh, the evil Peter Jackson's the alien Peter Jackson's foot, this bayonet. And it, he does this scream that calls the other, the other bad aliens to, to his rescue. Uh, so that's what you're kind of in for is, is an alien feature, but they're, they, they are in human bodies. And then once you see them in their, their other bodies, they look like this, which by the way, this is the anchor Bay release. I've had this for a number of years. Uh, let's see, it's standard release, DVD, oops, that, yeah, I got this used and that came a little bunched up, I'm a little upset by it, but it's okay, that gives me another reason to upgrade it, uh, there we go, with the special features, let me scooch it in a little further for you guys, you can pause that and take a gander, not a whole lot on there for special features, um, so, as far as what I would rate this one on the one through five scale, uh, on the technical side, it's it's okay. You know there are so it ups and downs with this. Uh, nothing that I guess would point out and make it look terrible because it's such a such a uh, there's so much comedy in it that it doesn't take it doesn't um, affect the film at all in one bit. As a matter of fact, he. He is so resourceful in this film. The things I was reading about how he made the gun, a lot of the guns with with plastic or not plastic, but aluminum tubing, pipings, and stuff like that, and and wood and and other little pieces of tin metal that he would find. And it's the guy did a top notch job. And then of course you know all the gunfire is fake. They they had to add that in with the uh, with the muzzle fire in in the post post-production one of those visual things um so there is zero like real gunfire as a matter of fact Derek has a like a like an uzi or something like that if you look at it really really good when it goes by you can see that it that one is a uh prop gun that has been a d that's a decommissioned gun i'm pretty sure it was it looked like that the uh 
the slide was uh, there. The ejector for the 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 spent shells. Uh, it looked like it was it was um, no longer there. Uh, so I'm guessing that that was 100% an old gun that was decommissioned and made a prop gun or was a prop gun all the way from the beginning. Not too sure. Um, now back to the ratings. Um, what would I rate this on an entertainment side? Uh, on a one through five, I'm going to give it a four. It's not quite perfect on the entertainment level, but it is damn good. Um, if you like Dead Alive, you will like this. I will 100% guarantee that. Um, I actually uh, prefer this over Dead Alive, which often gets me a little flack from it, from my friends and stuff for it. But that's okay. I'm perfectly all right with that. That's film. It's beauty, and everybody looks at it this differently, not the same. I almost said that. All right, y'all. I got a great one for you tomorrow. Um, I'm got. It's either one of. I got two movies. I'm deciding which one it is. Both of them are top notch. Uh, either way, they're both going to get reviewed. One will be tomorrow. The other will be next week. Peace as always, my friends.